हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन इन योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस होप यू वुड बी एंजॉइंग योर हॉलीडेज विथ योर स्टडीज एज वेल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट अ सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ ई वी एस दैट इज माई बॉडी इन योर प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट योर बॉडी पार्ट्स Let's have a small introduction about this chapter. Our body has many parts and each part has its own function. In this chapter, we will learn about names of different body parts and the second thing, function of different body parts. Now open your book page number 14 and let's read it out what's given there. get the ball rolling how do we hear things which part of body do we use to see turn up the volume karan karan do not sit too near to the tv from these two pictures we get the answer of the above two questions that how do we hear yes we hear with our ears and we see with our eyes and also from these two pictures we learn two things that we should not hear anything at high volume because this damages our ears and also we should not see tv too closely because this spoils our eyes next is our body has different parts Look at the pictures below and learn the names of the different parts of the body. Here is a child just like you and with the help of this child we will learn the names of different body parts. So students just repeat after me. H E A D head S H O U L D E R shoulder C H E S T chest S T O M A C H stomach W R I S T wrist T H U M B thumb F double O T foot A R M arm E L B O elbow H A N D hand F I N G E R S fingers K N double E knee L E G leg T O E toe Now these were our different parts of the body now let's see the next picture which shows the parts of a face just repeat after me children h a i r hair e y e b r o w eyebrow e y e i c h double e k cheek m 
O U T H mouth C H I N chin F O R E H E A D forehead E A R ear N O S E nose T double E T H teeth T O N G U E tongue Now come on page number 15 We use different parts of our body to do different things as we have seen the different body parts now are these body parts do different works let's see how they help us we can stand walk run and jump with the help of our legs and feet children we have two legs and feet which help us to stand walk run jump also we can do cycling skipping and many more things next is we can do many things with our arms hands and fingers some of them are eating holding brushing and painting again children we have two hands with the help of which we can eat brush paint and also we can clap and write we use both hands and legs to do activities like swimming and dancing yes we use both our legs and also our hands for doing swimming and dancing let's see what are sense organs some parts of our body help us to feel and sense things around us they are called sense organs we have five sense organs they are eyes ears nose tongue and skin they help us to see hear smell taste and feel now how many sense organs we have children yes we have five sense organs that are eyes nose tongue ears and skin we are able to learn understand and enjoy all the things around us with the help of these sense organs let's see how they help us now open page number 16 of your book the five sense organs have different functions number 1 we see with our eyes number 2 we hear with our ears number 3 we smell with our nose number 4 we taste with our tongue number 5 we touch 
and feel with our skin. Now let's learn about these sense organs in detail. Let's start with our eyes. Let's start with our eyes. We have two eyes which helps us to see many things. So we can see the beautiful nature around us. We can see the sun, the moon. We are able to see our friends and also can read books with the help of our two eyes. Next sense organ is our nose which help us to smell. It helps us to smell different flowers. We can have smell of tasty foods cooked by our mother and also it helps us to breathe. Our next sense organs are ears. So the ears help us to hear many different sounds. We can hear somebody talking. You can also hear different types of sounds like ringing of your school bell, chirping of the birds. So all these sounds can be heard by the ears. Next is tongue. It helps us to taste. It helps us to taste the delicious foods. And the last is our skin. The skin helps us to feel. It also helps us to feel the softness of our cheeks or the things which we touch. Let's do the exercise given. In, given here. Look at these pictures and write down the sense organs that we use to do these activities. Here you have to see the activities and tell the sense organs which are used. So in the first picture a boy is holding a dog and feeling the softness of his fur. So here the sense organ used is our skin. In the next picture, the boy is seeing a ladybird. So we see with our eyes. So here we will write eyes. And in the third picture, a boy is hearing. And we hear with our ear. Let's do the exercise given. In, given here. Look at these pictures and write down the sense organs that we use to do these activities. Here you have to see the activities and tell the sense organs which are used. So in the first picture a boy is holding a dog and feeling the softness of his fur. So here the sense organ used is our skin. In the next picture, the boy is seeing a ladybird. So we see with our eyes. So here we will write eyes. And in the third picture, a boy is hearing. And we hear with our ear. Now in the fourth picture, the boy is smelling a flower. And we know that we smell with our nose. So we will write here nose. And in the last picture a boy is tasting an ice cream. So with the help of tongue we taste. So here we will write tongue. Now let's come on the next page. Now here is the summary of the chapter. The first point is our body has different parts. Second, we use different parts of our body to do different things. Third, sense organs 
are the parts of our body that help us to feel and sense things around us and the last one the five sense organs are eyes nose ears tongue and skin these all points are already discussed inside the chapters now let's start the exercise question a fill in the blanks draw and color these parts of the body now number 1 i have dash nose so children how many nose do you have yes we have one nose so you have to write here one and here you have to draw a picture of nose and color it similarly you have to do the rest part Now let's see part B. Pick the correct answers. Question one is: I smell with my dash. Yes, with what you smell? With our mouth? No. With our nose? Yes. So the right answer is with our nose. Second question is I hear with my dash Option A is ears yes we hear with our ears so option A is correct Question 3 I write with my dash Option A is mouth Option B is ears Option C is hands. We write with the help of our hands. So the option C is correct. Now the fourth question. I walk with my dash. Option A tongue. Option B legs. Option C hands. Yes, we know that we walk with our legs. So the option B is correct. Now here we complete our chapter. Now your homework is to read the chapter and learn the different body parts and their functions. We will meet again in the next class. Till then complete your homework, stay home and take care of yourself. Thank you.